How's it going everyone? Thanks for joining us on CNY Central. I'm first alert meteorologist Mike Brookins. I know it's you know early to mid May and everyone's thinking we should be talking about sunburns and shorts and t-shirts, but we've still got some wintry weather the next 36 hours. We're talking about a chance for flurries and frost. <laughs> first, let's get to the frost. For tonight, it's going to be isolated. Most places do not see the frost, but you might want to take some precautions now if you've got some hanging flowering baskets that maybe you got for Mother's Day, or you've got some of those tomato plants that are not cold sensitive. If they get frost, they will get damage. You might want to cover them or bring them in. These counties are under the frost advisories, but even outside of these areas, the reason they haven't started the watches and the advisories down to the south, that's because the growing season hasn't yet begun. So still take some precautions there. But in Onondaga, Southern Cayuga, Seneca, and Yates County, from 1 o'clock till 8 o'clock in the morning, that frost advisory exists. We only made it to 56. That was a dozen degrees below average. Normal high temperature is 68. 45 or low last night and tonight. Uh, we're going to be at least 10 degrees below that. Only a trace of rainfall as of this recording. Overnight tonight, frost and flurries in spots. That's right. We could find, I, I think in most of central New York, the spotty rain showers taper off, so we don't see the flurries. But east of Lake Ontario, some lake infect and lake enhanced rain and snow showers develop with a westerly wind. And up there, that's where we could find those flurries, even for some, a minor snowfall accumulation. Monday, spotty rain showers, chilly, and then early Tuesday, near record cold. Low pressure system spinning around to our north, and we're getting that wind really whipping around on the south side of it. Also, these spotty showers, they're going to die off. These are driven by the sun's heating. So as soon as the sun goes down, we won't worry about that. But there is lake effect up here. And that'll start coming in east of Lake Ontario by midnight tonight. You'll see it east of the lake, some rain and snow showers. And as the night progresses, drops down into lower and middle 30s. It'll just be snow showers or flurries. And it probably will add up on the highest elevations of the Tug Hill. To the south of Syracuse, a little drier, a little bit more clear. And that's where the better chance for frost will be to the south of the city of Syracuse. Starting off tomorrow, this next front drops down, the third in our barrage. That's going to provide us with some spotty rain showers, some flurries mixing in in the morning, more breezy to windy conditions, and more chill. Temperatures even cooler than what we had today, and even colder tomorrow night, Monday night, as we clear on out, high pressure builds in, there'll be less wind, and the temperature goes down. So high temperature, it's the coolest of the week, well below average, 51 on Monday. We should make it to about 60 Tuesday, and 70s are returning by midweek. So for tonight, windy this evening, breezy during the overnight with a low temperature of 34. We will have a partly to mostly cloudy sky. And for the bulk of central New York, by midnight, the spotty rain showers will come to an end. However, east of Lake Ontario, what I'm showing here is that precipitation, some lake enhanced and lake effect rain and snow showers. Most everywhere will not see accumulation. However, there may be some up on the Tug Hill on colder surfaces like a car, tree, your grass, uh, the, the, the deck could find a little bit of snow adding up slushy and probably melt off pretty quickly coming up on Monday. Still some flurries, and this is more area wide Monday. Spotty or isolated to scattered light rain showers or sprinkles mixing with flurries early on, but we'll warm up a little bit into the 50s, at least 51. Windy in the morning, breezy in the afternoon. Winds die down, we chill down for Monday night. 31 for a low. Lots of bright sunshine Tuesday, a few afternoon clouds. 60, 70 on Wednesday with increasing thickening cloud cover. Wednesday afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then there'll be a quieter period Thursday through Sunday. Not much precipitation and nice pleasant temperatures.